Hey Camp Fam, welcome back to Keeping Up With Camp. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning into our channel. Today we're going to be showing you our toddler boy hairstyle video number 31. It's going to be our deep condition and our post wash hairstyle. If you are new here, um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell icon beside it, that way you'll be notified when we post new videos. Thumbs up this video if you like it and please hit us down in the comment section below and check out our social media as well. That way you can see our still videos from our hairstyles and um, different things that we're doing throughout the day. Speaking of social media, I want to show you guys a new little thing that we're adding in. This is our Cam Fam results. These pictures were sent in of our lovely little Cam Fam member and his hairstyle that he did after watching one of our videos. Look how cute he is. We just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for liking the styles and being excited about it. Um, if you want to have your little ones featured, please send me those pictures and videos. Um, you can hit us up on the Instagram as I said before and we will put those in all right so getting into the video as you can see we are in the kitchen <laughs> my favorite place to do wash day because honestly if not cam will just have a meltdown he still hates water on his face I don't know if we're ever gonna get over it <laughs> um, but for now the sink is our go Two. So as you can see here, I've wet his hair. I put some olive oil on beforehand um, and now I've put on the shampoo. I'm using the pads of my fingertips to just uh, massage that uh, shampoo in. Usually or before this, I never um, concentrated too much on his scalp or anything like that because he never really had any um, flakes or anything like that. I was just more so putting the shampoo on to get the buildup on off of the hair itself but I have been seeing that he is getting some flakes I guess you know now that he's getting older and sweating and stuff stuff like that um, so I'm just making sure that I get in there making sure that I get his scalp nice and clean so when I'm done with that I'm going to wash it out I only do one shampoo I I don't like to really shampoo that much anyway so I'm not gonna over um, dry his hair now we're getting to the good stuff conditioner guys do not be afraid of conditioner cam's hair soaks up moisture so i had to put a little bit more on there but look i'm just squeezing it out <laughs> honestly i go through so much conditioner um each time i wash his hair but if not your 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 little one's hair is just going to be dry and you're not going to be able to comb through it properly and their curl definition is going to be out the window so do not be afraid of conditioner conditioner is literally our best friend um you can more so do the hair with conditioner instead of shampoo if you really feel like it um so yeah don't skip and don't skimp on conditioner guys applicator bottle from the beauty supply i have in here some jamaican black castor oil mixed with peppermint oil the peppermint oil is good for a dry itchy scalp so like i said i've been seeing a little bit of um flakes in his in his scalp so i figured this would be great to mix in i do recommend mixing your jamaican black castor oil with a different oil just gives it a better consistency because the castor oil itself is pretty thick um so you want to be able to get it a little more liquidy that way it will apply better and you will get more um bang for your buck when you use it so i'm just sectioning them putting it in using my fingers to comb through it wrapping it up and then i'm going to put our cap on I don't use heat with Cam. Um, this is just like a self-heating kind of thing. Um, I left him this time, I believe, for about 20, 30 minutes, but you guys can go from 15 to an hour, however long you wish. So this is our Instagram post that I put up on the day, just asking what kind of conditioners everybody uses. So these were some of the top results that I received. Don't forget to check us out on that social media page, guys. That way you can participate in our polls and our quizzes and you guys can share your looks with me. So 
So my little handy tip whenever I'm uh, washing out conditioner, even in my own hair, I um, put the hair into either two to four twists or two to four braids um, and I wash out the conditioner that way. For me, it's just easier um, so that once it's done drying, once I take off the towel or the t-shirt that I use, um, it's in sections that are easier to manage and it's not as hard, it's not um, as much work to detangle, it's just a lot easier. So here is the way that I put the t-shirt on his hair, just in case anybody was wondering. I do use a t-shirt, I don't use um, like a microfiber towel or a regular towel. T-shirts, cotton, better for the hair. Even though we don't use cotton pillowcases, weird, but whatever. Um, so this is what I do. I put it on his hair and then I'm going to take the sleeve and I'm going to wrap it underneath, bring it up over the top. Um, and then I'm just going to twist the end of the t-shirt, the um, kind of like a bantu knot. I wanted to get it tight so it starts um, turning on itself. Just make it into a little bun. I usually just leave it like this. I fold like that little piece underneath. Um, but you can also put a um, elastic on it. Just keep it a little extra secure if you're going to let them run around for a little bit before you take it off. So this is hair the next day um, after I shampooed it I just put in about six um, twists I actually did a reel on it on his channel so if you want to look at what it looked like um, it's on his Instagram but I just let his hair dry like that and then I've now just taken it out you can still see there's still that shine and definition to his hair um, that's from you know putting a little bit of product in there letting the hair dry by itself um, I love it this way. It's so much better. It, his hair is soft and it's just so easy to work with. Okay, so let's get into this like non-professional braider type hairstyle. <laughs> um, this can be used right after wash day. It can be used just on a regular day, whatever you like. Um, there's like two variations to this that you could do just to... Um, you know work with your comfort level so what we're doing is I'm going to separate the hair into two as I did and then I'm going to put three on each side so I'm just going from the middle first so from the the top of the ear into the center um, and then you'll see the rest of the parts after I've put some um, olive oil on the perimeter as usual and then I'm putting on my shine and jam I combed uh, brushed it in and now I'm just putting in elastics. I do reinforce my elastics, so I'm using two here instead of one. Please make sure the hair is not too tight. We don't want it pulling or anything like that. Um, now I'm moving on to the second. Um, these two, you can kind of just um, separate them as you see fit. Try and keep it as um, even as possible. So I'm adding a little bit of the shine and jam, but just to the outside of the hair, just the perimeter where like you can you can see from the side of his head. Make sure you're combing through, guys. We want to make sure we get all the tangles out before we start working with the hair. Again, reinforced elastics. I put those in. And I'm going to do the same thing to the last section. Look at that. We're almost halfway through the style. And it's been like a minute. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the top. And I'm going to split each um, section that I have here into two and I'm gonna braid those um, if you don't like uh, plaiting if you're not comfortable with plaiting what you can do is just keep the hair as it is um, and in our final step you can you can start there so you can either braid these two or you can just leave them as they are and I'll show you what to do with them after So just plait the hair down. Normally I did the um, looser method to braiding. As you can see in the first one, I did like that overhand. Um, I just find that I get a little more longevity with the hair when I do it that way. Um, and for this style especially, you just kind of want it as straightened out as possible. So whichever way works for you. But like I said, you can either braid it or you can keep it, um, keep it just the way it is without braiding it.
you can feel free to add some shine and jam or um, your uh, curling buttercream or whatever that you're using to the ends of the hair um, as you go along or you can wait till the end like I did and do it all one go but remember one of the major keys to a protective style is making sure that the ends are protected so keeping them hydrated keeping them tucked away those things are important so just make sure that the ends are just as moisturized and just as in good condition as the rest of the hair Okay, so if you went the route of not braiding, this is where you're gonna start. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking those braids from the section above and I'm crossing them over underneath the, the next braid and attaching them in. So the piece from the right will then be attached to the piece on the left on the second braid and then the piece on the left will then be attached to the piece on the right on the next braid. And then when you get to the last portion, you just kind of add them together and braid it down like you would a normal braid and you're done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy guys. Don't forget to add oil or um, grease to their scalp, whatever your preference is. I love the oil, but just make sure you're putting something on there. I put the curling buttercream on the ends, curl that up, and I'm gonna put on the do-rag. Um, of course, my little man wants to help. He thinks he's the big man on campus, <laughs> so he knows how to do it all. Just make sure that you do this just to lay it down, even if it's for a couple of minutes or to sleep, and I add that elastic at the end. And this is the final product guys. Look at this style, super quick, super easy. This style can be done by braiders and non-braiders alike. I hope you guys enjoy. This is a post-wash hairstyle or a regular hairstyle, whatever you prefer. Um, I hope you guys have the time to try it out. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Also hit that bell icon, that way you'll be notified of our next videos. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Hit us up in the comment section below. Also check us out on our Instagram, that way you can send us your pictures and videos and be featured in our next video. I want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to come back for the next one. We appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you. Bye.